All right, guys, here we go. So right here, now we're evaluating, you know, can we get this dog to bite being untrained, green, never seen these pictures before? Does she have it in her? If she has it, she has it. If she doesn't, she doesn't. I will always stand on that. If it's in them, it's in them. If it's not in them, you can't put it in them. So right here, guys, keep in mind, she is untrained green female. Lived her entire life as a house pet farm dog and never been exposed to this stuff really with any kind of stress. So this is all her genetics right here. I know people are not going to believe that, but it's absolutely true. Her bite kind of sucks, but she's gripping hard. She's setting it on her own. She's punching on her own. I'm putting a decent amount of pressure on her, guys. I'm squeezing her neck. I'm grabbing her paws. In a minute here, I actually step on her tail by accident. You'll see right here, I'm on her tail. She pops. I'm sure it hurt. And the second that I move, she comes right back in and nukes the object. She could learn to fight through that with maybe a week of training. But um, she punches, she wins. So right here, we get rid of the half sleeve. And now it's just me with the stick. And I'm using a stick a little bit to kick her into a little bit of prey drive if I need to, but I don't really need to. And you'll see here, I'm kind of using a stick, kind of not. And then I'll put it away and it's just me, just a man, no equipment. The dog has two choices we're trying to figure out right now. Will she stand and defend and project forward with violence and aggression or will she run to get away? I'm yelling, I'm screaming, I'm blowing, I'm staring right in her face. I'm throwing my arms around her head, seeing if she's hand shy, gun shy. Is she going to react with fear or is she going to pull forward like, buddy, come into my space. I'm going to knock you up, right? So right here, I throw the stick back and I come in just me, nothing in my hands, no equipment, but I push really tightly into her space in an aggressive manner. And immediately you see, boom, she's lunging forward. Tail is kind of straight and wagging, but trust me, that's a serious uh, look on her right there. She's posting out, guys. You can't ask for much more than this on a super young, absolutely green female with no training. Why am I boxing around? I'm trying to see if she's hand shy. Am I going to throw my hand up and she's going to cower and, and push away? Obviously not, right? Throwing my hands close, she's looking for dinner. And uh, right here, I'm going to wait for a really good deep bark. When she does, I'm going to go dead. She runs away. She wins. Rich side, K9. All right, guys, we're here doing another test and evaluation. This is going to be a hunt and drive test. Ball goes in. Ball goes dead. Dog can't see where the ball goes. Dog goes in. Dog cannot see the ball. In our greenhouse, guys, this is our winter storage. It's full of recyclables, gasoline, diesel, food, chicken food, all kinds of stuff. We'll clean it out in the spring, get it back going to a greenhouse. So again, dogs in here. This dog has never been to our property, never seen the greenhouse, never done his test here ever before. So it's really overwhelming the first time they come in the greenhouse. Smelling around, smelling around. She can't see it. She can't smell it. Tremendous amount of contamination odor, but her drive is still there to go, right? I'm just showing with my finger about where the ball is. She goes into odor, pushes through. And she got the ball. Right here, guys, we're doing a field test. That ball is about 70 yards down there. Spin the dog, can't see it, hold her a second, release her. Again, the ball is totally dead at this point. She can't see it. She goes down. This dog will bracket the wind like no dog I've ever seen before. It's incredible to watch. She starts to bracket. You'll see change of behavior here pretty soon. Running around, working the field. She's never been in the field. Oh, look at that, guys. 180 degree turn right there. She's never been in this field before. She's here for evaluation right now. So it goes down. And um, I mean, it's incredible that she just did it like that. It's, it's actually insane. It's, 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 it's wild to watch in person. Her nose is just ridiculous. So right here, guys, we're stepping it up. So we did the building, the field. Now we're launching the ball back into the woods. Um, same drill here. Ball goes dead. It must go dead. Spin the dog, release her backwards, and let her go. And we'll see what happens. So the woods can present its own challenges. It can be easy for some dogs and incredibly distracting for others. Obviously here too, guys, we're not worried about her running away. So she's never really been on a leash her life. She's been raised as a farm dog for the most part. Um, green as green comes. No bite work, no hunt drive work, no hunt building, no drive building, no anything. But genetics do matter. So she's hunting around. She's looking. She's trying to get into the wind. She understands the game, but the, even the object right now is still new to her. So she's just looking for, remember, the last odor, the strongest odor, the strongest human odor, whatever is different. Whatever is different is putting off a source of uh, odor. I can't even talk right now. It's early in the morning. Anyway, something out there should trigger her, right? And that's what's happening. She's working to win. Right now, she's in odor. She starts to work to soar. She see the tail start to wag. Nose is on the ground. She's trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out, and uh, moves over. And again, she just got this from, she'll find it here in just a second. I think she's got it. Yep, she's got it. She got that, guys, from starting off with nothing. So that's pretty incredible. Rich side K9, we're doing some environmental testing this morning. We got Courtney out. We got little Ranger out. We're out here in a small little city area just working on environmentals. Up, open stairs, steep stairs, rickety stairs, slick stairs, metal stairs, open great stairs, high steep stairs with overlooks. You name it, we're exposing them to it. Really excited about this puppy. 
how far he's come, where he's going, what his potentials are. This is the behind the scenes stuff, guys. You can't have a working dog if they're scared of environmentals. And it's probably the number one uh, fallback to most hardcore uh, police dogs. Now, they look really great in the field. They look really great in prey drive. And you start throwing these kind of obstacles at them, and they shut down really quick. So behind the scenes work. Really appreciate Courtney's help this afternoon coming out. It's a long day. And it's just one fire escape to another fire escape to another fire escape. And we're just looking for stairs, looking for steep objects, slick objects, see-through objects, you name it. Rich side canine behind the scenes, getting these patrol dogs ready to evaluate.